Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the fastest way to rank up in Call of Duty Cold War, Rank Play, League Play, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be the fastest way for you guys to rank up and just get through the ranks and just start showing off your, your skills to the boys. You know, you want to be in that lobby, you want to have the highest rank, you want to have the highest competitor level, all that sort of stuff. You want to be the best of the best out of all your boys at least so you can sort of flex it a little bit. But quickly before we do jump into the video guys, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm already 6k subs, if you can help me hit that, that'd be absolutely amazing. We're really close right now we're literally less than 100 away so please smash that sub button it would really help me out guys if you do enjoy the video smash the thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on league play and any questions you might have about league play in the comments below and i'll do my very best to answer them as soon as possible for you guys but i'm gonna jump straight into the video right now so guys if you ended up watching my video the other day about league play and how it all works and the ranking system and the fact that you can only rank up every four days when this event here ends obviously now it says one day when it first dropped, it was in four days. So the only way you can actually rank up is within this. But the way you rank up, if you didn't watch it, is basically, I'm going to go over it quickly. If you come over to the rules, you come to the rank rules. And then wherever you play, so if you play top 25, you'll get two gems. Top 10, you get three gems. Uh, top five, you'll get four gems. And first, you'll get five gems. But also within that, you will, if you finish top 10, you'll get the silver rank. If you finish top five, you'll end up with the silver gold rank. And if you finish first, you'll get the gold rank. Uh, the, yeah, the gold rank, and if you finish first six times, you'll get the diamond rank. So basically, the rank is like the overall what people are going to see when they load into a game. So if you load into a game next to your name, if you are diamond, you will see the diamond rank. If you're gold, you'll see the gold rank, etc. And obviously, behind my face cam here, you've got the victories as well. If you win one, you get a little golden ring. If you win consecutively, you get a blue ring. And if you win even more consecutively, you get a purple ring. And that's basically just going to flex on people how many games you've run in one in a row. Um, but basically, in terms of ranking up, you want to be obviously getting the best placements you possibly can. So, how do you get placements, you're going to ask me, is you come to the league ladder. Mine doesn't work, okay? Mine does not work for whatever reason. A lot of people on PC are saying theirs aren't working. But basically, here is where the numbers would be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It is a leaderboard. And then in the position will be whoever's gamer tag is in that position. Then there'll be the ladder points. So obviously, the more ladder points you have, the higher you're going to finish. And you want to aim to finish with the most possible ladder points you possibly can. And then final placement reward will show you you're going to get five gems. You're going to get four gems, three gems, two gems, etc. Um, so basically, the way that you want to end up finishing in a high position on the ladder. It's a bit more difficult for me to show you because my just doesn't work which is really frustrating so i want to see whereabouts i am how i'm ranking in comparison to everyone else in my bracket and where i'm sitting so just remember guys it's all going to be depending on what rank you've got and what part of the rank you're in to what is actually going to be appearing on the leaderboard if that makes sense it's not everyone in the same leaderboard you've got the better players in their own one and then all that sort of stuff so basically the one thing you can change the entire time as you're going through is the skill division so you've got competitor which is 50 percent of all players you've then got advanced which is the top 50 percent you've got expert which is the top 30 percent elite top 15 and master being the top two percent so basically what these are if you see these little gems on someone's rank which sort of appear in the middle down the bottom here if you load into a game you'll see their rank and then the little gem and basically to achieve these skill divisions this is going to be done entirely off of um skill rating and um score per minute and all that sort of stuff so the more kills you're getting the more objective time you're getting the more objective captures you're getting the higher chance you have of getting this is the best score per minute within like the leaderboards and within the game uh, is going to boost you to the top and give you the best ranks possible so for example if you're playing hard point what you want to do you want to try and be the first one on the hard point so you get them extra score like that extra score to pick it up you want to be picking up a nice amount of kills you also want to play a lot of objective time as well the more objective time you got the more it's going to count towards this sort of stuff so if you are if you're not the objective player for your team and you know you've got the objective players and you're someone that sits back what you're going to want to try and do is make sure if you can just try and pick up the first hard point or clear the hard point or whatever it might be be the first one to get in it maybe and then drop to your position where you're picking up kills or just try and clear out the hard point as much as you can to get, allow your team to get into the hard point and the more kills you can get is obviously going to be the better for the score per minute so basically these are the ones that will change throughout playing right without i think i believe these ones can change within that within the four days it's not stuck to whatever you got in that particular ranking session if that makes sense so within the four days that we have here basically i believe that's the one that will change up and down and you can get better at you can drop in out you can get into drop out of all that sort of stuff the one that won't change is your rank one because of course you need these gems to rank up until the next one which is then obviously like we said where you're going to start picking up the these sort of things so basically what i'm trying to say guys is the more score per minute that you get the higher ranking you're going to be in terms of your league ladder there's no specific way to level up any faster than 
you know, there's no different thing you can put into your game. Obviously, you just want to win more games. The more games you win, the more ladder points you're going to get. You, I believe you still get ladder points for losing. So, you know, you're still... You, by playing, you're going to get higher and higher. This is the, quickest way, the quickest way to do it is just carry on playing. The more games you play, the higher chance you've got of finishing up the top. And if you can, obviously win as many of your games as possible because you're going to get win streak bonuses on your ladder points as you just saw right there. Let me just show you again. You've got your streak bonus, which will just give you some added points. So the more games you win in a row... Once you then do lose, you'll get them points added to your ladder points. And um, it'll obviously give you a boost to get to the top of the leaderboards. And basically, all you want to do is play the games. You want to win as many games as possible. Like I said, that's going to get you up the ladder as much as possible. That's going to allow you to get your next rank and your... Um, you know, your gold, your silver, your silver golds, all that sort of stuff. That's going to allow you to get to that point. However, like I say, if you want to get your... Um, this bit here where it says competitor for me and the skill division. If you want to increase your skill division... Basically, it's all done on score per minute. As far as I'm aware, what everyone has told me is done entirely on score per minute. So do your very best to get as much score within the games as possible. Your little match XP at the end is going to count towards it. Everything you do within the game in terms of kills, capturing hard points, planting bombs, defusing bombs, um, you know, all that sort of stuff. That's, that is what's going to count towards this sort of stuff. And then, like I said, your ladder divisions is just purely off you winning and losing games. Um, so that doesn't really make much of a difference. If you're trying to just rank up, Go for your wins. Try and get as many wins as you can. Play the objective as much as possible. Just get the wins in. I mean, even if you're going for the um, the competitor ranks and all that skill divisions, you definitely still want to carry on winning games because it's going to give you a better boost because you're going to be you're going to be getting more score per minute to allow you to hit them higher ranks. So as obvious as it sounds, but some people have been questioning how they do level up faster. So I thought I'd make the video on how you guys are going to hit the ranks faster, how you're going to hit top of leader, but uh, top of your ladders a lot faster as well. And it's purely by playing as many games as you possibly can. Like, if, if you want to try and rank up, if you're actually serious about ranking up, just even solo queue, because I don't think you lose points on your ladder for losing. I can't really remember, and it doesn't show me because, like I said, my ladder's bugged, so I can't tell you if it does or not. But basically, you want to, even if you're solo queuing, just play as many games as you possibly can. The more games you play, the more ladder points you're going to have, the higher you're going to finish, right? But obviously, you want to win as many of them as possible because you are going to get more um, skill points and more ladder points for winning the game. And then if you want to increase your skill division, just play the objective, get as much score per minute as you possibly can. And that is, because that's an individual thing, the, the skill division is an individual thing, so it's done purely on score per minute within the game of what you are getting. Obviously, winning games and things like that does help because you're obviously going to be getting getting more score per minute because you're winning the game so if you want to increase your skill division focus on your score per minute try and boost that up and get that up as much as possible if you're worried about getting the ranks and up on top of them leaderboards make sure you're trying to win the games get as many kills as you can and just sort of play the objective and play that for the wins because that's how that's how you're going to get the most ladder points and just play the game in general the more games you play like i say the more ladder points you are going to receive so hopefully this video has helped you out if it has smash the thumbs up i'm sorry if i waffled on a little bit if i did then i do apologize if you've got any more questions again let me know in the comments below because i'll do my very very best to answer that for you guys like i say if you haven't enjoyed the video smash thumbs up if you aren't already subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any more videos on the channel i'm already 6k subs like i said help me hit that and if you want to watch me play league play live on twitch twitch.tv forward slash harry17p the link to that will be in my description along with all my other social medias if you want to follow me anywhere else i appreciate you watching all the end and we'll catch you next one